Now our next step would be to use both the lower and the upper puck. On the upper puck assembly, we have the wires that when you purchase the upper puck assembly, you're going to have roughly 18 inches of wire that you would be able to insert And then with the snap ring, you would be able to retain the upper puck into your end plate. So now with our upper puck assembly in place, we have a wire that we're bringing out through the charge tube. We want to make special precautions not to cut or kink or have this wire strip and touch connect to create a short. What most people will end up doing is taping the wire to the charge tube and then down at the lower section here we're going to bring the wire back into the center to where we will be able to insert our lower puck assembly. Now you can see the slot where we will bring the slot through and we will place the wire and the lower puck assembly and lock it in place. The next step is going to be to strip the wires and make your electrical connection. So now with our wire stripped, now at this point what we're going to do is make our electrical connection to the lower part of the puck assembly. You want to make sure that you have that electrical connection. And then the easiest way to make sure your connection stays is to put just a wrap of tape to secure it to your lower puck assembly. And again, this is going to be where your electrical connection will come into place with your gun assembly. So now we have our charge tube wire. If you wanted to, you could connect and check for a continuity. In this case here, we're dealing with a one foot gun, but there's no reason why this could not be a 21 foot gun, or an 11, 15, 16, different lengths is fine. You just will need to make sure that your wires are secured properly around your charge tube. The next step would be to insert your deck cord along with a booster. For our purposes, we've already cut and we've already crimped the booster onto our deck board. We're going to insert it into our electrical connection to where we make sure that it is shouldered. And then all we're doing now at this point is wrapping the cord around the charge tube and inserting it into the slot for the shape charges. Some charges may have snap rings or clips to hold in place. You can also hold it in place by using tape. So finishing up the deck cord through the charge tube, I'm going to cut off excess deck cord. insert it into my charge tube and then tape it to keep it there. At this point you have your electrical connection 
which it, you're able to inspect to make sure that you're not cutting or stripping your wires in any place. You have your electrical connection on your bottom. You have your electrical connection on your top. You have your deck cord, shape charges in place. Now you're ready to insert the charge tube assembly into the gun body.